For hundreds of years, Ireland was ruled by Britain. When Ireland separated from Britain in 1922 after the War of Independence, part of the deal meant that six counties, Antrim, Armagh, Derry, Down, Fermanagh and Tyrone, were to remain part of the United Kingdom. However, there was a divide in Northern Ireland between nationalists who wanted to unite Ireland and unionists who supported British rule. Most of the nationalist community were Catholic and most of the unionist community were Protestant. Unionists were in the majority and controlled the local government. Conflict broke out in the late 1960s, partly triggered by an emerging Catholic civil rights movement. Catholics were struggling to get homes and jobs and were protesting against their unequal treatment. Unionists held their own protests in response and violence broke out between the two sides. The British Army was sent to Northern Ireland to control the situation but this further escalated the conflict. This period is known as the Troubles. More than 3,600 people were killed over the next 30 years. The violence was mostly carried out by paramilitary groups. They are unofficial military-style groups and included the Irish Republican Army, or IRA, who wanted to end British rule, and loyalist paramilitaries who wanted to remain in the UK. There were many violent incidents during the Troubles. The IRA held bombing campaigns and killed 1,700 people. Loyalist paramilitaries killed more than 1,000 people. One of the most violent events of the Troubles happened in 1972, when 14 people were killed by British troops at a peaceful civil rights march led by nationalists in Derry. This is known as Bloody Sunday. In the 1990s, the major paramilitary groups declared a ceasefire, meaning that they agreed to stop attacking each other. In 1997, a new British government was elected, led by Tony Blair of the British Labour Party. Blair and Irish Taoiseach Bertie Ahern were joined by Northern Irish governmental parties to negotiate a deal. Amongst the negotiators were Ulster Unionist Party leader David Trimble and Social Democratic and Labour Party leader John Hume. Two small unionist groups linked to loyalist groups and the IRA's political ally Sinn Féin took part. In the end, they came up with two linked agreements, a deal between the British and Irish governments and an agreement between the Northern Irish government parties. Part of the agreement recognised that people of Northern Ireland could identify as Irish, British or both and could hold citizenship in both Ireland and Britain if they wished. It also recognised that Northern Ireland could decide to become part of the Republic if certain conditions were met. A new government would be formed in Northern Ireland where power would be shared between unionists and nationalists. This government or executive would be responsible to the Northern Ireland Assembly and would make some of the decisions which up until this point had been made by the UK government in London. On the 10th of April 1998, the Good Friday Agreement was signed. A copy of the agreement was sent to every house in the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland for people to read before a referendum was held where both sides of the border could vote on it. It was voted on on the 22nd of May 1998, the first All-Ireland vote held since 1918. The agreement was approved by 94% of voters in the Republic of Ireland and 71% in Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland Assembly took their seats in December of that same year. For the most part, Northern Ireland has been at peace for the past 25 years. However, there have been some attacks by dissident paramilitary groups. Power sharing between nationalists and unionists has run into problems in recent years with some parties refusing to work with others. However, after 25 years of peace, most people would agree that the Good Friday Agreement has changed life for the better.